I have not forgotten about all of you World War Three enthusiasts who are wondering, Tim, when's the next big update on the Pacific theater? Well, we got it now. Taiwan invasion alert. Island scrambles fighter jets, puts Navy on standby and activates missile systems in response to 34 Chinese jets and nine warships as NATO warns of dangerous situation. At a time when Russian pundits are saying it's already World War Three, file, fire, file, fire the nukes already. We also have escalation in the Pacific, which is, um, man, I hope nothing happens. Here's my hope. All the news dies down. Seriously, Joe Biden resigns. Uh, John B. Honest Man runs for office and everything becomes transparent and the corrupt go away and the economy begins to improve and everybody holds hands in world peace. And then I can go fishing down by the river. Instead, what it's what seems to, to be happening is international conflict is escalating. World War Three may be coming soon. And that means I have to keep working. Well, it is what it is. But here's the story. Beijing yesterday instructed its Air Force and Navy to perform a major operation, which saw 20 Chinese aircraft cross the central line of the strait, long seen as the buffer zone between the island nation and mainland China, according to Taiwanese defense officials. It is the latest escalation of tension between the two states and comes after weeks of Chinese military drills close to Taiwanese airspace, leading Taipei and its U.S. allies to be wary of a potential blockade or outright attack. China's alarming military maneuvers came just hours after foreign ministry spokesman Mao Ning declared Beijing does not promise to renounce the use of force in its efforts to reunify. Crazy. Look at this. China has for weeks sent warships, bombers, fighter jets and support aircraft into airspace near Taiwan on a near daily basis, hoping to wear down the island's limited defense resources and undercut support for pro-independence President Tsai Ing-wen. Chinese fighter jets have also confronted military aircraft from the U.S. and allied nations over international airspace in the South China and East China Seas in what Beijing has described as dangerous and threatening maneuvers. You know, China blocked Taiwan, trying to cut off resources. Now, apparently, we're going to be sending more U.S. politicians to the island nation, which is real China, by the way. It's the real government of China that was ousted when the communists took over. Then all of a sudden, everyone's like, well, I guess we'll just work with the communists. That kind of that, that's kind of dumb, but it happens. Revolution happens. And so I think the only reason Taiwan still stands today is, of course, because the U.S. is remaining involved. But it must not be confidence building for the Taiwanese that the U.S. is trying really hard to set up its own silicon chip manufacturing plants in like Arizona and stuff, because that's where they're, nor- they're normally made. And so uh, we're like, you know, uh, we got your back, but we're going to start building a chip plant here, you know. For no reason. And it's basically saying China will seize your land. Or I should say communists will take your land from you. And then they will control Silicon Valley of the West or of the East. I think it's Silicon Valley of the East. It's funny because like Silicon Valley is in the Western United States. And if you keep going West, you hit Taiwan. But technically that's East based on whatever. Yeah, I think war is a real possibility. And it'll be interesting because with the Russian conflict in Ukraine, the Ukraine conflict with Russia, I should say, it's 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 a ground war in Europe. And then like with World War Two, Japan was in the Pacific theater and they were not in the same places. But this war was going on for the United States. We were sending troops to Europe and we were fighting in the Pacific theater. Looks like we're heading towards that again. And it's because psychopathic warmongers don't know when to fold. They keep raising, raising, thinking they're going to win. But nobody wins this There is no pot to take, just nuclear annihilation. Russia won't back down. It's a border state. We're defending an island off the coast of of China because it benefits us. But how long can we maintain this? Yeah. Why can't we just like, you know, chill out? Suppose the fear is we don't want a unipolar Chinese communist world. But I don't quite understand it because it certainly seems like Joe Biden is actually working towards it. And maybe that's the thing. He has to maintain some level of resistance. Otherwise, it looks suspicious. But the dude was doing private business deals with his son selling natural gas from Louisiana to China. Why? We need it. You know, it's crazy because right now we're talking about what's going on in California with natural gas prices going through the roof. Meanwhile, we have these old emails from back in the day where they're selling natural gas to China. How about we keep our energy? How about we start 
creating our own energy and become energy independent here in the United States. Closest we've ever been, I think, is with Donald Trump. He says we got to like 100 percent or whatever, but it was like 96 or something like that. They go on to mention that Taiwan's independently governed. Yeah, you, you, you know all that. Beijing has accused, has, has accusing Taiwan of using the U.S. and other Western allies to bolster its efforts to maintain independence and insists the U.S. is manipulating Taiwan to contain Chinese influence. I'd imagine, I mean, what else are they doing? Taiwanese support for independence, meanwhile, is overwhelming. According to a December 20, 2022 poll conducted by the National Chengchi University, less than 3% of Taiwanese citizens want to reunify with China immediately, and only 5% think Taiwan should unify at some point in the future. I remember I met some uh, young women when I was in Chicago, and they were, they were Taiwanese. I, but I, I, I could tell that they were Asian. And I said, so, so uh, wh- where are you from? And they were like, Taiwan. I was like, oh, Taiwan. Is, is that in China? And they were like, no, it's Taiwan. And I was like, oh, whoops. You always see on those toys and stuff, made in Taiwan, made in China. The funny thing is, China is Taiwan. Or, I, I mean, Taiwan is China, but like real China. You know what I mean? Like when the communists are taken over, the, the island of Taiwan is where the Republic of China actually stayed and was able to secure themselves and fend off the communist takeover. Creepy stuff. Anyway, look at this. we got a picture of a Chinese Navy J-11 fighter flying close to a U.S. Air Force RC-135 aircraft in international space over the South China Sea, according to the U.S. military in an image taken from December 21st, 2022. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, man. It's, uh, it's getting there. It's getting there. A string of visits in recent months by foreign politicians to Taiwan, including then U.S. Speaker Nancy Pelosi and numerous politicians from the European Union, spurred displays of a military might on both sides. In response to Pelosi's visit in August, China staged war games surrounding the island and fired missiles over it into the, into the Pacific Ocean. China has repeatedly threatened retaliation against countries seeking closer ties with Taiwan. But its attempts at intimidation have sparked a backlash in popular sentiment in Europe, Japan, and, and the, uh, the U.S. and other nations. In a memo last month, U.S. Air Force General Mike Minahan instructed his officers to be prepared for a U.S.-China conflict over Taiwan in 2025 as a result of the increasing tensions. Meanwhile, Taiwan's de facto ambassador in Washington, B. Kim Hsiao, Hsiao, can't pronounce it, said there is a new emphasis on preparing mil- uh, military reservists and civilians for the kind of all of society fight that Ukrainians are waging against Russia following the February 24 invasion. Everything we're doing now is to prevent the pain and suffering of the tragedy of Ukraine from being repeated in our scenario in Taiwan. So ultimately, we seek to deter the use of military force. But in the worst case scenario, we understand that we have to be better prepared. That is to say, expect more of your savings to be devalued. Expect more of an economic crisis and more fuel shortages, because if this lights up, baby, and and Ukraine is in full swing, or if Russia moves into Ukraine and the conflict escalates and then it starts reaching Poland or who knows where, and then Taiwan lights up, World War III. It's going to get expensive. Your energy costs are going to go through the roof. You got to think about what life was like in World War I and World War II. You got to read about it so you can understand what's going to happen. I recommend getting out of cities, getting a little homestead or something, get some cows, get some goats, get some chickens. We don't have goats. We don't have cows, but we do have chickens. We talk about, Ian brings this up all the time on IRL, that the reason we made uh, dry dog and and cat food is because we used to give them meat, but then we started sending the meat to the troops because we needed all the meat we can get. We cannot spare it. We got to get the meat to the people so they can fight because soldiers march on their bellies. A lot of things have been like that. A lot of resources. We used to have, um, what was it? We made silver pennies, I think, because they wanted to use the copper for bullets or something like that. I don't know. I could be getting it wrong. But uh, for weaponry, silver wasn't as effective. So they started making silver coins. And so there's like a certain period during the war where things are made of silver, like silver pennies. It's crazy. And they're just like worth too much, I guess. Something like that. And we also had an office of censorship. So don't be surprised with everything we're seeing. If World War Three type conflict does erupt, don't be surprised if you actually get police quarantines. Don't be surprised if you get lockdowns. Don't be surprised if social media gets heavily censored overtly. Because they're like spies and bots, spies and bots. TikTok will be banned out, right? You know it. If conflict erupts with China, maybe it will, maybe it won't. I don't know, man. I'm not, I, I don't know. 
2025 is the date they're giving. Maybe it will be sooner because certainly things like everything's getting so crazy, but I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up tonight at 8 p.m. over at YouTube, youtube.com slash Timcast IRL. Come hang out. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you all then.